God is our source. Amen. He is all powerful. And he is all, he, he has all ability. Church, God is present. Amen. It would to God that we can wrap our mind around. Amen. The power of God dwells within us. Amen. He said that we are filled with all the fullness of God. And that the power of God, uh, amen, when we have his spirit, amen, the power of God dwells within us, amen, all power, amen, all power, amen, the fullness of God dwells within, amen, when we can wrap ourselves around that, amen, then we can worship him based upon, amen, his, his presence uh, on the inside. Amen. Uh, amen. Not the problems of the outside, uh, but the presence of the Lord that is on the inside. Yes, uh, yes problems are going to come. Uh, the Bible says when Jesus Christ had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, uh, amen, after he had fasted, uh, amen, then the devil came and tempted him. Uh, amen. Tempted him in his belly and said, if only you would eat. Uh, amen. Then, uh, hallelujah, you can, you can, I'm talking about, you can, he said, the devil said you can change your situation uh, with the word that is in you uh, but Jesus said to the devil man shall not live by bread alone but by every word uh, that proceeded out of the mouth of God uh, you see I got the word on the inside uh, and I don't need anything that the devil has to give the devil came and tempted him uh, amen with all of the glory of the world and said I give you everything if only you would bow down and worship me Jesus said it is written uh, Man, amen, hallelujah, the word of God, uh, amen, and the devil came and tempted him, uh, amen, with uh, the protection and said, if only you have fall down, just jump down, uh, amen, watch how the Lord protect you, and Jesus said, uh, it is written. Church of God, we need to be able to say that it is written in our spirit and scribed with the blood of Jesus that God is present on the inside. Amen. And I don't want anything but the presence of the Lord on the inside. Church of God, if only we can wrap our minds around the understanding of that God, the almighty God, the all-powerful God, the living God, yes, amen, yes, hallelujah, yes. he dwells in the temple, yes. and your body yes. is the temple yes. of the Holy Ghost, yes. your body, my body, our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, yes. and we're going to worship God yes. in yes. the temple of the Lord, yes. we're going to worship God, amen, who is the almighty God, yes. in the temple of the Lord, yes. And as we worship God, the devil going to go away for a season, but he's coming back. That's all right, devil. Just come on and give it your best shot because no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Why? Because God dwells on the inside and the presence of the Lord is in the house. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The prop mind. The presence of the Lord. Yes. Amen. You have the presence of God in you. Don't you worry about the enemy. Mm -hmm. My God, too often times, church, all it is is a facade. You are running and, that, and nobody's chasing. You hear the rustling in the wood and you think the bear is coming. God says that I, can, I fixed it so that you cannot fail. All you got to do is keep your eyes on me. Church of God, uh, Sister Jessica, I hear that song when you were singing it. I could see it in my spirit. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Holy Spirit, come and fill this place. Holy Spirit, come and fill this place. Let me feel your warm embrace. I just want to have, oh my God, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. What? Lord, I want you to feel, yeah, this place. Lord, I want you to feel this place. Amen. Glory to God. Too often time we say, Lord, I want you to feel this place so that we can see, amen, something, you know, with our eyes. But Lord, yeah, feel this place. Yeah, Lord, let me see, let, let me see you from within. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Not necessarily without, but God, first and foremost, let me see you from within. My God. And the challenge, this is the challenge, church, is that we might, amen, realize that all power, Amen. The power of God dwells within the temple of God. What is the temple of God? The Bible says your body 
is the temple of God. Yes. Don't defile the temple. Can somebody say, don't defile the temple? Don't defile the temple. My God, and let me just tell you all, I know in our present day, we think the defilement of the temple is when you, amen, drink, smoke, you know, uh, 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 perform, you know, do illicit sexual activity, all of that. Kind. We think that that is defiling the temple. And true enough, it is. But let me tell you something that is just as worse as defiling the temple. Maybe more so. It's when, when, when God dwells in the temple and you bring doubt on the inside. Oh, I'm talking about He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask a thing, and you bring doubt in there. You, oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, so hallelujah. Amen. When, hallelujah. When, 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 when God dwells in the temple, yes. praise the Lord, hallelujah, and you bring murmuring, you are talking about people, amen, instead of interceding for them. And here you're going to talk about, amen, smoking and drinking and, yeah, those are just results of somebody. But here you are bringing stuff into the temple. Don't dishonor God, amen, with that. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, believe the Lord. Believe the Lord. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Yeah, that's right. Just believe the Lord. Amen. Just believe the Lord. Oh, and, and, and I'm finished now, but let me just share a testimony with you. There are times, amen, when you're going to come to a situation and there's going to be some great stress in your life. Based upon some things that you need accomplished, some needs that you have. What are you going to do? Be aware. Train. This is this is about becoming disciples now. This is disciples in our day. You need to be a disciple. I mean, this is not about external. This is internal now. This is internal. This here is when you you know you bringing your body under subjection. Amen. Please, Romans chapter number twelve, verse number one. one of the most profound passages in the whole entire scripture. I beseech you therefore brethren. And that's not talking about the male gender. That's talking about everybody in the faith. He's not talking about the gender. He's talking about the species. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your body uh, a living, living sacrifice, holy, H O L Y. Is that H O L Y? Holy, not W H O L L Y, but H O L Y. <laughs> holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. There is no reason for me to have anything going on in here but the acknowledgement that God is present. This is our challenge, because we got so many other things. I'm talking about you got the old nature that's warring against your new nature. Mm -hmm. It's something for us to bring our bodies under subjection and coming to the place of recognizing, according to the new nature, I'm going to present my body a living sacrifice, holy. My mind will not be corrupted with Amen. All of these fears from this old external man. But now I'm going to be ruled by the, come on now. Amen. Yeah. Sitting next to you, sitting, standing here, looking at faces, but recognizing that God is in the temple. Amen. Faces are not going to fear me any longer. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Faces are not going to move me any longer because God is in the temple. Amen. See, that's a challenge. That's a, come on. I mean, everybody who likes to do exercise, you ought to start lifting those weights now. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>